Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video, I am going to teach you all the five lookup formulas in Excel. This is a very commonly asked question in Excel interviews also that tell us all the lookup formulas in Excel. So these are the five lookup formulas in Excel. VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, LOOKUP, INDEX and MATCH. Alright, these are two separate formulas. At the end of the video, I'll tell you a trick how to use index and match together. Alright, I've done it over here. See? So, let's start. Let's understand this example. We have the IDs over here. We have the names over here of employees and these are their sales figures. Alright, so their IDs are 1011 and the name is Rambo. 1022 is Thor. Rocky, Hulk, Paris Hilton. Amazing group of employees we have. <laughs> All right. So now the idea is to get their data using these different formulas. All right. So I have used employee ID 1011 for Rambo to get his sales for all the form, all the formulas. And this is through VLOOKUP. This is through HLOOKUP. This is through LOOKUP. This is through INDEX and this is through INDEX and MATCH. Okay, so I'm going to teach you all of these. So I'm going to delete it from here now and we will start learning. By the way, you can also go to myelesson.org and see more such videos, download such practice files. And in case you want to buy our uh, courses, you can do that from there also. And let's start. To use VLOOKUP, you'll have to first identify what you need to look up. All right, so we are looking up the ID. This ID or this lookup basis should always be on the left hand side of the expected result. So the expected result is sales. It is on the left hand side. So this is all set. Now we'll start the VLOOKUP is equal to VLOOKUP. So lookup value is this ID. Okay. I selected it D4 cell comma table array. This is the table array from where we need to find the probable answer comma. Now it says, okay. I will go in this table and I will look at the ID that you have mentioned over here. And once I find the ID, tell me what should I do? So you tell it that once you find the ID, you go to X column, in our case, the sales column and return the answer. Now it says, okay, I'll go to the sales column. Tell me how to identify the sales column. So in that scenario, you will have to tell the column number to it. So that is what the column index number says. So the column index number would be three. It will start from the lookup ID one, two, three. So type three comma zero for exact match. We don't want something near to it. We want the exact. So the answer is three, six, seven, nine. See three, six, seven, nine. Similarly, we'll now use H lookup. H lookup won't work on IDs. It will work on the top level. Uh, labels. So like VLOOKUP works on the labels mentioned over here, HLOOKUP works on labels mentioned on the top. So if I want to use HLOOKUP, I'll type HLOOKUP and in our case, the lookup value would be sales because this is the column which we need to use. All right. Comma table array would again remain this complete comma. Now it says, okay, you want to find sales for ID number 1011 in which row is it? So this is row number one. This is row number two. So mention two comma zero again for exact match. And here is your answer. And lookup is super easy. This is what I love. See is equal to lookup. It has two ways of using. I'll tell you the easiest way. Okay. It says lookup. What is the lookup value? Our lookup value is this cell. All right. D6 where the employee ID is mentioned comma where is your array this is my array that's it here is your answer nothing doing this is super easy what else do you want super easy right see is equal to lookup lookup value is this comma this is our lookup array and here is your answer what else would you like and then you have index so for index, I'll type index and it will ask for array. Okay. 
comma row number is 2 okay we know our 1011 id is in row number 2 comma column number is 3 we want the result from column number 3 that's it you get your index answer now i'll tell you how to use index and match over here because itself match will not give anything other than the location and to use the index and match i'll type is equal to over here index and the array is this one all right comma and now i need the row number for row number i'll use match all right and i'll say the lookup value is located in cell d8 where the id is written comma and you have to look up it this value in this column all right and the match type has to be exact so i'll type zero close the bracket comma and now bring my answer for column number three close the bracket again and here is my answer isn't this cool see so this is how we use index and match together so in this video you learned all the five lookup formulas v lookup h lookup look up index and match i hope you like this video do share it with your friends all right and in case you want to be notified about the next video or want to see all my videos you can subscribe to the channel and you can download these files and watch another videos on my website mylesson.org also so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning